Hello, and welcome to Theater Talk. Today, we will be talking about how the Radio City Rockettes started, and how they became such an icon to the holiday season. The show starts all with its choreographer, Marcel Marquette. He was inspired by the British Tell Tiller Girls, formed by John Tiller. After watching them, he wanted to find absolute precision and uniformity from dancers, so he made the Rockettes. A rocket usually had to be between 5'2 and 5'6 and a half, but now it's between 5'6 and 5'10 and a half, and has to be proficient in tap, modern, jazz, and ballet. They were originally known as the Missouri Rockettes and premiered in St. Louis, and traveled to New York City where S.L. Roxy Rothfeld found them and put them in theaters in the city. They started off at Radio City as the Roxyettes, but then in 1935 became the Radio City Rockettes. Once Radio City began premiering movies, they would perform a lavish performance for the viewers. A great example of this is in Annie, where they travel to the Radio City and perform a big number before the film. The Rockettes would later travel to army bases to entertain soldiers during World War II. Then, in 1957, they made an appearance on Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, which became a New York City tradition. A definitive classic and adored number of Rockettes is the Parade of the Wooden Soldiers in the Christmas Spectacular. Their small movement and sheer size and number of dancers show why it is so popular. The number has been unchanged since its first premiere in 1933. A few other modern staples are the New York City bus in the New York at Christmas number, which moves in sync with a 90-foot LED screen and the Three Kings delivering the gifts with all of the cute, lovable animals. Now, the Rockets never leave the media's eyes with appearances on numerous live television broadcasts. That's the history of the Radio City Rockets. I'm Harrison Walsh with Theater Talk, and have a happy holidays.